<laughs> What's going on guys? I'm Simple Simon. I'm your comic book noob. Welcome to the Noob Rebirth. On today's show, we're going to talk about sidekicks. Speaking of sidekicks... Say hi, Mark. Hi, oh, Mark. <laughs> Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this and make sure you smash that thumbs up, yeah? Smash the thumbs up. Hulk smash that thumbs up. Let's do this. Alright, so the reason I want to talk about sidekicks was because I was thinking about the word sidekick and whenever I think of sidekick, there's only one that comes to mind and that would be... The boy wonder! That's right, he's the only sidekick. Like, I feel like he's just Bam. associated with that Pow. world, right? So, um, I was trying to think of other sidekicks, and I was just like, who are the other sidekicks that you can think of? Because I, I just. Ah, uh, there's. Well, in the DC, let's start with DC. Well, there's the Green Arrow sidekick, which was called um, Speedy, for I don't know what. Uh, the Flash had a sidekick called uh, Kid Flash. Even uh, Wonder Woman had a sidekick for at one stage called Wonder Girl. Okay, because um, like, I mean... Uh, <laughs> Superman, I don't really... His sidekick, you could probably... The, ever, the only ever sidekick he probably ever had was Crypto, the dog. I don't really remember him having ever a, a sidekick. Because I guess back in the day, it seemed like all superheroes were supposed to have a sidekick. Which is why when I think about it, I can't, like these days, it's, it's not very common, is it? Um... Well, it, it kind of is and it kind of is. I mean, like, Spider-Man never really had a, a sidekick. You know, they've played around a couple of times here and there about it. Um, Captain America had, obviously, Bucky. That was his sidekick. Iron Man never really had a sidekick. Why would you? He's got an ego as big as, you know, a country, so uh, he would never have a sidekick. Um, I mean, Thor really never had a sidekick apart from, you know, you know, Beta Ray Bill. I wouldn't really call him a sidekick. Cause that's a, yeah, well, I was going to say, like, is, is, there's a difference between someone being your sidekick and you guys just being partners. Exactly, right? Like, for example, um, Booster Gold and Blue Beetle? Nah, they were just that, partners. Exactly, right? So, I guess... Yeah, well, what you're trying to say, what makes a sidekick a difference between, between a partner? There you go, yes. Okay. So, a sidekick is sort of like a protege, I would imagine, like someone who who's early, who's learning from the mentor. So it's a mentor, uh, mentorship, I suppose, of superhero, you know? Um, and a partnership is a partnership, you know? Like, you, you're together because you have um, separate attributes that, that contribute to the greater goal. So everyone brings something to the table. So that's what the difference would be. Robin's the most iconic sidekick of more. Right? Uh, well, yeah, hundred percent. Of course, there's been uh, what four of them. And uh, would you say he was five the, of them? Would you say he was the like first? That. I don't know about the first. Um, oh, it's hard to say, man. That's in, in in modern superhero comics, probably yes. In the great in the grander scheme of things, I would say no. Yeah. Uh, but who, who, who would you say is the next most iconic? famous sidekick or iconic? Yeah. For crypto, definitely, uh, See, and Bucky Barnes. But but do people really know crypto? Because I only know crypto no, from the yeah, Titans it's, TV yeah, show. Yeah, that's true. Crypto is more not really a sidekick. I'll never really. forget because uh, he's more I, of the pet, super pet, I suppose. Exactly. I'll never forget the first time I saw crypto in the Teen Titans series. Uh, it was at the end of I think the first season or something, and I was just like saying to my mate, "What's with the dog?" <laughs> my mate just looked me in the eye and goes, "Mate, that dog." Can fly. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I mean, look, the, the, one of the most modern sidekicks I can think of was with X23 when, and she finds out she has a, a sister, which is a clone as well, but she's a younger, so they, they're sort of like siblings. Um, and I think it was in the Tom Taylor series, it was Tom Taylor that introduced that storyline, and she becomes a sidekick to uh, the all new Wolverine. You know, when 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 Laura took over the mantle of the of the Wolverine, she had a sister. So and they, I can't remember what 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 what, she, what mantle or what what honey badger or something like that. I don't know something. It was something awkward like that, but funny. Okay, well back to the Bucky thing. When did that, like, when did that first start? Like, what comic run or? Oh, what? first, mate. When he was in the, when he was, uh, when Captain America was fighting the, the Germans. This is way back. This is like. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So Bucky Barnes and Captain America. That's who fought the the Germans, um, in World War Two. 
you know. Um, and then, uh, I mean, and when he came back as the Winter Soldier, he was never, obviously, he was his own man. But yeah, it was Bucky Barnes and Captain America. But that was, uh, that was in, would have been in the 1940s, whereas Batman was earlier than that, and Robin was earlier than that. So uh, I would imagine Robin was first. I don't really, I don't, to be honest, I don't really know. Uh, I'll, to, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I'm, I've never really looked it up. But they're the two most iconic ones that I can think of. So definitely like Witch Soldier and Captain America from the Marvel side of things is, is the Batman and Robin. Oh, 100%. What about like non-DC Marvel uh, heroes? Is it, Spawn never really had any. I think maybe, I don't think Savage Dragon really had any. Anything? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not big on Valiant, so I don't know. The the whole sidekick thing just just came about as a to real, you've got this adult guy who and you got the kid to so it was more relatable to the, to a younger generation. Yeah. So you, know? you were you were the sidekick, right? Oh, of course. While you're reading it. Of course. I was, yeah, hundred percent. That, and that's why I love I love the character of Robin, except for Damien. Don't like right, Damien. <laughs> but all the rest of the Robins, they're awesome. Maybe Jason Todd, but I'm not sure. Yeah, well, Jason Todd, let's talk about that. <laughs> of course we are. Of course we're going to talk, talk about that. Can we right? not talk about Jason Todd? So, like, I did read Death in the Family when I was a kid, and I guess I didn't understand the whole thing of what was going on, but um, he was unlikable, was he? Like, that bad? Ah, oh, he was obnoxious and he was arrogant. Because definitely in the TV series, like I thought, I saw, I thought Jason Todd was cool in the first season, and then the second season of Titans, I was like, you annoy me so much. Yeah, he was supposed to be annoying. He's supposed to be arrogant. So he better be... redeem himself as Red Hood, um, or not? No. Look, you, do, you want him to be bad. You want him to be. You want him to be not go your way. He, that's that's the whole appeal of Jason Todd. He was the. Uh, he goes against the grain, and you're frustrated about it. So you, I know you. Tim Drake's your favorite Robin. Correct. And why is that? Because he was my, it's what the Robin that I grew up with. My Robin, okay, I like that. I like that, that's right. See, for me, it's always like OG, so Dick Grayson will always be yeah. my Robin. Ah, uh, see, Dick Grayson for me is not me. Will always be not me. Yeah, but see, I discovered Dick Grayson from the um, Adam West. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Red Ward. Yeah, and so did I. And not, not I didn't discover Dick Grayson, but I, the, I love that Robin as well. Every Robin bring, every every interpretation of Robin is different, you know? So, you know, that appealed to the masses, you know, holy rusted metal Batman, you know, sort of thing. So, uh, like another one that I uh, grew up with, with there uh, was uh, Wally West as Kid Flash. Mm -hmm. I love, I love uh, Kid Flash. And to create a team of sidekicks like Teen Titans, I think that was brilliant. Because it was just teenagers running around being teenagers, superheroes, uh, without their mentors. Yeah. You know? So were all those characters I, I, sort I, I of sidekicks? Hey? Were all those characters sort of sidekicks? No, not all of them. I mean, I, mean, like... I mean, Raven wasn't. She wasn't That's ever true. a sidekick, but she was That's still true. a teenager. But most, most of them were, but Starfire wasn't. So, but you know, Robin was always the leader because obviously he's, he he learnt king of the sidekicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not only that, but he was more responsible. You he guys had, are all my sidekicks. He now. had team. He, he had he had more experience than all of them. You know, in strat, strat, strategy, being the Batman sidekick. You know, so um, and even throughout the other interpretations of the Titans in the in the comic books, it's always been Robin. What I love the the interpretation of that in Young Justice in the cartoon series. Which uh, was made by Filoni, by the way. David Filoni, if anyone knows Star Wars, David Filoni at the Clone Wars and Mandalorian and all that. That was awesome, and that interpretation was great because it had it had them breaking out from the sidekick mold and create their own team, which was Young Justice, on the pr on the premise that they would have an adult supervisor, and that was awesome. And I thought that was great. It was it was clever. It was a great series. Um, with the whole, you said Wally West starts off as Kid Flash. We started off as the sidekick to Flash, mm. and eventually became the Flash. Mm -hmm. How many times does it hap that happen? Because I know Dick Grayson has been Batman before. Um, Bucky was was Captain, Captain America. America for a while yeah. too. So like, I mean, has that always happened as well? Like, has that always had its moment where the sidekick becomes the? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's what they strive for, I suppose. Each sidekick strives. Wouldn't you just want to be your own hero? <laughs> Well, there, there was a book image that J. Michael Straczynski wrote, uh, one of my favourite writers. Um, he, he wrote a book for Image called Sidekick. And it was about, it was about a sidekick whose identity was tied to a sidekick that he was sidekick to like this, this superhero, you know, Superman type hero. And then, then that hero decided to retire and he was left 
as a, you know, like he was, and he tried to make his own way as a hero and just wouldn't work, everyone just saw him as a psychic always. And he was very frustrated and, you know, uh, in, in, uh, yeah, I don't worry if people want to read it, I don't really want to spoil it, but it was a it was a great it was a great look into the psyche of uh, how people look at you and how you put yourself out there and the repercussions of that, uh, you know. Um, so it, it was a really good series, and I, I thought it was an interesting look at what sidekicks, how sidekicks, and um, and what becomes of them, and so on and so forth. You know, not and it was it, it's not all sunshine and roses. What about Kato from Green Horn? He's a sidekick. Right? He's a sidekick. Right. And he was more famous than the, the Kato. Right. He was, Kato was more famous than the, than the Green Hornet. <laughs> Thanks to Bruce Lee. That's right. So, so I, I don't see them as sidekicks, I see them as partners. You know, because they both brought different um, attributes to the, to the table. So Kato was the physical guy and uh, Green Hornet was more the investigator. You know? The detective. Yeah, the detective. So I thought, I, I, I don't see them as sidekicks, I see them more as a partnership. You know, but that's another one that's you know like a, uh, like a not not DC or Marvel, you know. So that's a, a good example, buddy. See, he's not becoming a noob. That's right, mate. Yeah, Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching today, guys. Um, don't forget, if you are new, hit the subscribe button. We do this show on the regular, and um, where's the subscribe thing going to be on the bottom? Uh, maybe right? I'll put it right above you. Above you? Yeah, right above, above you. you. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. And um, until next time, get out of here, Mark, and say bye. Bye, Mark. Did we say hi, Mark, before? We said hi, Mark. I don't think we did. Say hi, Mark. Hi, oh, Mark. <laughs> we, anyway, I maybe if we didn't, hi and bye, Mark, all right? I'll see you later. I'm just going to go down to the basement right, and get those comics that you wanted. Yeah, we knew the little staircases there. <laughs> Keep it simple. Are you still recording? Yeah. Yeah. Before you set it off, I've got something for you. Is it a new sidekick, not n no, name, no. not Mark? <laughs> no. You have, a, you have a subscriber called Con. Yes. Yeah. I like to call him Con the Conqueror. Yes. All right. But he, he wanted me to give you this. Oh wow. Gift. Oh wow. So because he, he he knows that you're you're still a noob and he wants to uh, push your experience and you're purchasing a lot more books now. Yep. Right. And and this is a, a good way to keep an uh, of their of their of their worth. Oh, so it's it's like the sports almanac. It is <laughs> of comic books. It is. Con, I know you're watching. Thank you so much, man. He did to tell me because um that he had something on the way. I was like, oh, okay. Don't have to, but uh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Con. You rock. Yeah. So if you're turning that way, I'm gonna turn this way. So I'm gonna use my left hand. You're gonna use your right hand. No, you go, we both go the same way, otherwise it doesn't matter. Oh, work. the same way. But I'm not turning at all. If I turn, I'm only turning this way. I'm not doing a twirl. So what do you want me to do? Go twirl no, and then go... That's just... No. That's, that's the shit. You would spin all the way around, I guess. You go, you, you I'm going to do double... I'm gonna, nah, that's not going to work. What do you mean? How's that not going to work? Uh, Boom. No, hang on. So I have to go around like this and do around like that. Yes. Oh, all right. All right. Dylan! <laughs> 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 <laughs>